Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have an episode of Shoes. Shoes. Today I'm gonna show you guys my shoes. I am a thick girl, I am a big girl, and my feet are wide, large, and in charge. So I get a lot of questions about my shoes because I have a unique size. So I'm gonna show you guys a close to 80 pairs of shoes that I have right here and just talk about them and try them on for you in case you guys are interested. I was also inspired today by Amber Scholl, who also has like a shoe tour kind of style of video. So shout out to her and thanks for the inspiration, Amber. I love you so much. And also in today's video, there'll be a secret word in the video and I will give away, should I give away some shoes? What shoes are you gonna give them? Some chanclas, honey. And today, there'll be a giveaway, there'll be a secret word. Three winners will receive a box of makeup and a hundred dollar gift card to ASOS where I love to shop. It's not sponsored. I like a majority of these shoes are from ASOS and a stripper store. So I don't know if that stripper store has <laughs> gift cards, but you know, we make do with what we do. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the shoe try on video. <laughs> okay, Peter getting mad at me because I got I, someone filed a complaint in my building that I was stomping too hard. Oh my gosh, so first things first, I am wearing my first pair of shoes that I ever bought. We try to work with different angles, y'all. So these are my Bordello Pleasers. I have gone through maybe five or six pair of these. I actually learned about these shoes from a drag queen because Bordello Pleasers, you can find them on Amazon, you can find them at Stripistos. You can, if you just type Bordello Pleasers anywhere and patent leather black and paint the bottoms red, you got yourself a drag queen red bottom Louboutin daffodil shoe, okay? So yeah, I love these so much and they are my most treasured pair and I think this is probably like my 10th pair of black bordello pleasers. All right, so the top row of shoes are strappy heels, and I'm just gonna go through and just show them, but this one I love. I wore this uh, to Kylie's skin launch party. This has like a cute glitter heel, and this is from ASOS, and what I love about ASOS is that there's a wide size, so this one is really, really super cute. This one is such an old school pair, this one, y'all. Nikki Tutorials and I bonded over this shoe because Look, look, this shoe has been through it. There's a safety pin because we don't lost the zipper, but Nikki Tutorials did wear this to the Teen Choice Awards, and she was going, and she actually won that year, so congratulations to Nikki. But she was like, I really don't know what to wear, and ironically, we were the same size at the time before she done lost all this weight and snatched herself. But yes, I love Nikki so much, and these shoes remind me of her all the time. Uh, these are from Ashley Stewart. So on top, there are just more strappy heels, but over here is a really, really cute pair. This is also from ASOS. My little brother Paul had rhinestoned these shoes. These are just absolutely so cute. Oh, there is a rhinestone missing. But yeah, we just got some rhinestones downtown and just rhinestone them. And these I wore to my Mac launch party and danced in. Yes, I'm a dancer. And look at this little block of a kitten heel, y'all. She was a dancer. And these straps really held me in, you know, while I was getting it. Over here, I love me a good strappy heel, but it's very rare that I wear strappy heels unless I have a pedicure. So today I got them and I'm confident enough to wear them. So this one is um, from Asus as well by the brand New Look. I love me a cute strappy heel. It's classic and it can literally go with anything. So I have a pink one. I have a two-tone denim one, very Justin and Britney moment. And I love the varied size of heels. So that one's a chunky heel. Here's a skinny heel. When I tell you these heels give out, you guys will know what I mean a little bit later. They give out on me. So um, I love me a good sturdy heel for my big self. And yeah, I love these strappy heels. This one is always really good too. This is a cute, how embarrassing. Oh my gosh, this shoe is a classic. This is a suede strappy heel with some gold detailing. I wore this in my week of the life for face forward. It just literally goes with everything. So if you are wide in your foot, um, be sure to grab one of these from ASOS by the brand new look. And I love how they say wide fit because I have really wide feet. These ones, y'all, are iconic, okay? You guys can tell these are stripper heels. I got these from Maya Shoes Hollywood. If you guys wanna zoom in, here is the phone number right here to call. You can always call her and text her. <laughs> Um, this shoe, I wore these to Fashion Week when I walked in the blondes. 
Literally all the models are required to wear Louboutins, but because my feet are so thick and so big, I was exempt from wearing Louboutins, but the blondes, if you guys don't know them, they are amazing, amazing fashion designers, David and Philippe, um, shout out to them. And I wore this in my Fashion Week debut when I walked as Ursula in the opening scene um, for Disney, their collab with Disney. So this is really, really special to me and I love this shoe. And if you guys wanna have a sickening stripper heel, this is it. Oh my gosh, y'all, really quick story. This heel actually broke the night before. <gasps> oh my God. I'm so mad. It's a new shoe. Look, and the bottom's barely been used. I'm gonna sew it, and then I'll super glue it. Just give it to me, I'm a shoe doctor. And this was the only shoe that we brought to Fashion Week. And if you could look up here, Fabian had done flew this up the same day of the show to get this literally um, repaired. They don't snap because my ankles were just killing it at rehearsal, okay? So we won't talk about that, we won't talk about that. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna talk about these next three rows. These are my pleasers. If you guys can see the ones that I'm wearing, the black ones, these are my bordello pleasers. These right here are the regular pleasers. The bordellos have a platform and this one is just like a single sole. So the reason why I have all these these shoes is because I was at a shoot and someone said oh my gosh whoever pulled you all these shoes they all look like ugly stripper shoes and I was like and uh ooh. and so from that day on I've been hoarding heels just for shoots because for being plus size it's really really hard to find shoes that fit me and so since that day I have stacked up a bunch of heels to go with every color of the rainbow and outfit possible and so hence why I have probably one of each color of pleaser just in case when it comes to outfits. So right here I have this pink rhinestone pleaser that I wore to the streams when I presented. This was really, really fun. I actually had my outfit based off of the shoe. No normally most times the shoe comes after the fact, but in this scenario I love the shoe and color so much. We had the fabric match and the rhinestones match to the actual shoe. So this was really, really fun and I love that. And if you guys don't know, I really design most all my outfits in collaboration with the designer. So the, the outfit that I wore to the streamies was designed by Casillas. This one right here is the iconic holiday matte campaign shoe. This is with a pleaser. This is like my Dorothy um, pleaser shoe. I love these so much. I don't think I'll ever get rid of these, but yeah, I love them. They're so special. Oh, and as you can see, I have blue, I have AB silver. Also, this shoe literally matches my dose of colors. <laughs> okay, these shoes are tattered. Don't look too close to them, but literally tell me this is not the same um, type of fabric that is on Katie and Desi collaboration with Dose of Colors. It reminded me of that. That's why I have it here to remind me. But these shoes have been everywhere. Friends have borrowed this shoe. This shoe is from River Island. River Island is also a good website to um, buy wide shoes. But this is such a classic Eleganza shoe and I love it so much. And it's very, very, very tattered, but we won't talk about that. Over here, I have more like my basic suede shoes and then over here we have my zebra lion king inspired shoes also from asos i love me a good statement shoe look at the heel it is just so architecturally different if that's the word um, and the zebra print is really really cute and fun and it looks really cute and i love this for like a good statement office meeting and over here my team hates these shoes that is giggling back there but i love me a good beach side thick kitten heel see this is the type of shoe that you wear at a barbecue okay because you cannot be wearing a thin heel in the grass at a barbecue but you can still stunt at the backyard barbecue with a thick heel because it won't dig in the grass as much so have yet to wear this um waiting to get invited to a barbecue but in the meantime she'll be sitting back here okay why are y'all laughing <laughs> Y'all embarrassing me. And over here, as you can see, we have more pleasures. We have a pink, we have a red, we have an orange, we have white, black. And if you guys can see by the black, I do have multiple pairs because I love these so much and they be going through it and the heels be breaking. There's more um, strappy basic black heels back here. And here y'all, I love me a metallic gold shoe. I love these and they're so amazing. These are from Maya's Hollywood where I got the blonde uh, stripper heel from. These are from Asos. So this was my first gold metallic pair that I got and then I couldn't find them. But the reason why I wanted to stock up on more gold pairs was because if you guys zoom in really, really close, the heel literally screamed at me and said, why you built like that? And she is concave. These shoes 
have seen better days, but I can't get rid of them because I love the finish and I have yet to find a wide shoe that fits me. So I've worn these at the billboards, I've worn these at multiple events and because I love the metallic finish and these are amazing. But over here, I have two more of the gold pairs, but if you look up close, I don't know why I don't wear these shoes because one night I came home and I think my toe was like a claw in one of them vending machines and picked up a piece of gum, you know? Sometimes, because I'm a big girl, I like take off my shoe and I'll like give it a little break and then I'll put my shoe back. And I think for some reason, my toe picked up a piece of gum and ended up in the shoe, which is absolutely disgusting. But um, nonetheless, they are fun memories we can look back on. Reason. What was the reason? reason. What was the I reason? <laughs> You're nasty. Over here, I do love silver shoes. Um, my other silver ones have done seen better days. These silver ones are just sickening. They'll go with everything. And I think they're really cute with a black pants, even a jean, casual, and also um, daytime and nighttime shoes. So I love these, and these are also pleasers. Oh my God, guys, these blue ones are iconic to me. These are my blue metallic pleasers from my music video. First ever music video, Got the Glam. These are my teacher's shoes. I love these so much. They literally just made the statement. And also over here, I have a purple pair that I've worn on Face Forward. And also when I was with Paris Hilton for her skincare launch in Las Vegas. I love these shoes so, so, so much. And over here we have a pink, and over here we have these beautiful satin cover shoes in red and a deep turquoise. Let me take off these shoes and take a break, y'all, because my ankles be giving out. Oh my gosh, I never talked about the shelves. Oh my God. If you guys are interested in decking out your extra room, if, you're, if your kids flew the nest, these shelves, I think I talked about it in my closet tour, but just, just to reiterate, I love these shelves. I got them from Home Depot on the website, and we actually actually got two of them and bracketed them right under here just to have me a nice shoe installation. Moving on to the last row. So over here, we have these beautiful shoes from ASOS. You guys see why I love ASOS so much because they have so many brands and they carry them and I hope you guys, whoever wins, whoever found the secret word is able to find beautiful shoes or other um, items on there. But this is an ASOS brand and these are beautiful, strappy, cheetah, sexy heels and I love them so much. Over here are from River Island. I, I don't know what, what it says about these shoes but these are just beautiful, floral, furry, uh, sexy shoes. I call these my Riri shoes. I have yet to wear these. I've had these for the longest time, but they are so beautiful and the heel is just so, so gorgeous. And what's a shoe tour without a good neon shoe? This just screams hot girl summer, okay? Neon has been such the craze and it has this kind of like swimsuit kind of fabric and this is just a beautiful shoe. Again, this is also from ASOS. All right, y'all. I know I am not married, but <laughs> I be shopping for some wedding shoes, okay? Because they just be so eleganza, okay? So these shoes right here are from ASOS, from the bridal section, and they also fit wide, and these are just beautiful. They're rhinestone and metallic. I feel like they'll go with pretty much a lot of things, and there's a beautiful satin white on the back. I think it's just so cute, and in case I have a special event, I have me a good um, rhinestone white satin pair. Okay. Speaking of rhinestone metallic, okay, we got the bridal level and then we got the drag level over here. These are white bordellos that Fabian had generously made to me for my first MAC launch. He loves Lady Gaga and wanted to do this for my first MAC launch. We just needed a shoe for my first ever MAC collection for video content and I didn't have a shoe to match that. So we had got a bunch of mirrors and hot glued an E6000, a bunch of mirrors on here just to get this beautiful artistic shoe which I'm upset I should wear these one day I need a dress in, in like all these paillettes that's what I need yes coming soon. And over here are more bordellos. These are my Dorothy shoes. I got a red glitter bordello, a magenta um, platform bordello, and a purple platform uh, glitter bordello. So that's it for all the rows. Oh, 
moving down to the flow. All right, guys, so down here we have my Gaga shoes. These remind me of Lady Gaga, and there are so many pictures of her wearing them, and I love these so much. I also got all of these from Maya's. Maya's in Hollywood is where I get my shoes. I have also seen Todrick Hall up in there, too, so I know where he gets his shoes, too, and I know if he shopped there, you know, it's lit. So I love these. I actually got, no, no, I got these glitter ones from um, Amazon. I just typed it in. I'm gonna try to find a link and link them down below. And for reference, I am a 10 and a half, 11 men's wide. And in women's, these come in, I think, a size 12. I will link these down below. And then these red ones over here are size 14, yes, from Maya's. These ones were actually black. My good Judy CJ had rhinestone these. So right now, there is probably over 10,000 rhinestones on here. This was originally black and we had painted it metallic fuchsia just so you can see it through. And I wore these at the Love Ball. And oh my gosh, the Love Ball was so lit. I wore all B Cala and I had to um, really strut my stuff on stage with Mary Kay Blige, Dita Von Teese, The Blondes, and uh, Billy Porter was there as well. And everyone gagged for these shoes. I love these shoes so much. So, and my jumpsuit literally came up to here so we didn't have to rhinestone all of it, but I will be wearing these again really, really soon. Oh, I'm also wearing these at an upcoming event, so stay tuned for that. Oh my gosh, over here, these are my Lady Gaga spiked heels. These are just so, so fierce. I love these so much. And next, over here, I will say is probably my tallest pair of shoes. These are six inch platforms with an eight inch heel, I believe. This I have only, no, I've worn them I think twice. I wore this for Halloween in my cat's costume and also as Elphaba when Peter and I wear the Wizard of Oz, Wicked. So this really added height and drama and if you guys really want that, and they're not actually bad to walk in because they give you a lot of support in the ankle with the laces. Look at this heel. This heel is about the size of the platform. And then look at this bordello. This is absolutely insane. Over here, I don't have a very big collection of sneakers because I'm just that kind of girl that's so glam. But I do have these cute pair of Gucci's that are rhinestone on the side. I have these cute nude Asics. Um, these are my airport sneakers. And over here, I have my cute Kylie skin shoes. Kylie and I actually have the same pashas. This one is by Adidas and Raph Simmons. A Plastique also has these as well. And I love them. They're just like, they look like they're dipped in like metallic silver. And I love these so, so much. Over here, I had to get these crazy sneakers these are just by nike these neon they look like um moon shoes love these over here i just have some basic booties because when i'm walking in the city in new york when i'm doing interviews or something i want to look cute but i don't want to be stressed walking in tall ass shoes because I'm tired and my turban is tight. So these are pretty much my go-tos when it comes to my meeting shoes and they're down here just for easy reach. So last but not least on the bottom corner over here, I have thigh high boots. I don't have that many because when I tell you my thighs are so thick ones, it is so hard to find a pair that will actually go over my knee and support all of this thickness um so over here i have this beautiful satin pair of thigh high boots that actually fit me i wore these to the grammys in 2018 last year this was such a moment i love these because it's a statement and this was like very much that kind of vibe so again like the pink studded shoe i had matched my outfit to this shoe um, and had a fun standout outfit made for the Grammys. And I was so excited to wear these. Over here, I have a beautiful thigh high from ASOS. This is just a beautiful suede um, pair that's cute for fall, just every day. And over here, these are my favorite pair of thigh high boots. The height isn't too bad. They're super sequin, very, very me, Patrick Star. And most importantly, they fit over the knee. And this one is in a size 12 wide from the brand Eloquent. I love Eloquy as well. They're a plus size brand and I got this in the Houston Galleria store. So this is just a cute little moment around the time of my fifth collection. All right, everyone, this is the finished video. Be sure to have fun with your style. These are all my shoes, no matter what color, style, texture, shape, long heel, short heel, 
have fun with it. I love playing dress up, y'all. I just love it. It's just so fun to play um, with shoes and also outfits and also with makeup. So choosing your shoe is no different than your makeup. So make sure you note that. And I hope you guys found the secret word in today's video. Good luck to everyone applying in this giveaway. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to comment down below. I love you all so much and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye.